The simple present versus the present progressive. This should be a very easy concept for everyone in the class. You're obviously in a much higher level now, so at this point it's just review. This is something you should have learned a long time ago. If this is difficult for you, please come see me. I am going to move through this material very quickly. Now, where else can you look other than this video? In the textbook, you should look at chart 2-1 on page 14, chart 2-2 on the same page, and chart 2-3 on page 16. I've put a star next to this one because this is a very important chart. You should study this chart and you should memorize it. This is a chart that we will look back at in many, many other chapters. So even later in the semester when we're studying different verb tenses, we will look at this chart so it's a good chart to remember. Okay, first let's go over the three main forms of a verb. There's the simple present form, I go to school every day. If the subject was third person, it would be he goes to school every day with an ES. There's the simple past form, I went to the gym yesterday, and the past participle form, which would be I have gone to the store already. Obviously, right now, we're going to be talking about the simple present form. The simple present has two meanings. First, it can describe things that are always true, as in, the child loves his mother. He loved his mother yesterday, he loves her today, and he will love her tomorrow. This will never change. It is always true. Please pay attention to the subject and the verb. It's a singular subject, child, so the verb is also singular, which means we add an S, loves. The simple present can also describe habitual activities things that you do on a regular basis, every day, every week, once a month, any kind of habitual activity. For instance, I brush my teeth every morning. Simple present. The present progressive, on the other hand, describes events that are in progress at the moment you are speaking. In other words, right now. It's something that's happening right now. To form the present progressive, you need a form of the verb be, is, are, or am, plus the verb in its ing form. You are watching Ashley's video right now. Form of the verb be, are, plus verb ing, watching. Second example, I'm sorry but Susan can't come to the phone because she is meeting with a customer at the moment. Form of the verb be, is, verb ing, meeting. At the moment is another way of saying right now. Now it's your turn. Read the following sentences and decide if you should use the simple present or the present progressive. If you need to pause the video, to work on this for a few minutes, please pause the video now. Okay, let's look at the answers. First one, what are you doing right now? This tense is the present progressive, form of the verb be, are, verb ing, doing. Why did we use the present progressive? Because of the expression right now. So we know we need the present progressive. Please notice how to form a question. First we put the form of the verb be, are you doing? So the be verb goes before the subject in order to make a question. What are you doing? Next one. Do you want to go to the movies? No, sorry. I am taking five classes this semester and I have a lot of homework. 
present progressive, form of the verb be, am, verb ing, taking. Why did we use the present progressive here? Because it's happening this semester. This is not always true. This person does not always take five classes. This person is only taking five classes this semester. Last semester, they didn't take five classes. In the future, they will not take five classes. It is only happening right now. Please notice the spelling change. Take is usually spelled with an E on the end, but when we change it to taking, we remove the E. You need to make sure that you spell the verbs correctly. Final one. Wow, he's so busy all the time. When does he sleep? This is obviously the simple present tense. Why did we use the simple present tense? Because we use the expression all the time. He's so busy all the time. This is habitually true. This is always true. So we need simple present. Remember when you make a question with the simple present that you need the auxiliary verb do. As in, when does he sleep? Please make sure that you remember how to ask questions with the simple present and the present progressive. Now, this part is a little bit trickier, but really you just have to memorize it. There are certain verbs that we call non-progressive verbs. These are verbs that you cannot use with ing. It's not possible to put ing on the end of the verb. You can find a chart with a list of these verbs on page 16 in your textbook. You should memorize this chart. I promise you it will be very helpful for, for you as the semester goes on. Let me give you an example. I can say, for instance, I know the President of the United States, but I cannot say I am knowing the President of the United States. Know is a verb that cannot take the ing form. Another example, she likes scary movies, but I cannot say she is liking scary movies. Both of those verbs cannot take an ing form. Some more examples. There are some verbs that can take the ing form sometimes, but other times they cannot take the ing form. This is where you're going to have a little confusion. So you need to just practice and memorize the best you can. An example, Jack looks tired. I cannot say Jack is looking tired. In this case, look kind of means the same thing as the verb be. So when I say Jack looks tired, it's kind of like saying Jack is tired. It's describing something about him. And since I'm just describing Jack, I can't use a progressive verb. On the other hand, Jack is looking at the magazine right now. That is something that he's doing. I'm not describing Jack, I'm telling you what he's doing. And since I'm telling you an action that he is doing, I can use ing. Now it's your turn. Read the following sentences and decide if you should use the simple present or the present progressive. Let's look at the answers. For the first two, the doctor thinks that the patient should go to the hospital. Simple present. For the second one, the patient is thinking about his children present progressive. Why? In general, a good rule for think is that if you see think that, you use the simple present. But if you see think about, you use the present progressive. Now let's look at the second two. This is a great party. I am having so much fun. Present progressive. And the second one. The dog wants a bone. Simple present. In the third sentence, I am having so much fun. 
This is another example of a verb that usually does not take ing. You would say, for instance, I have a sister, not I am having a sister. But with certain expressions, you can use the ing with have. So when you're talking about having fun, you can use ing. With a verb like want, you generally cannot use ing. That will always be in the simple present. The only way to learn when you can use ing and when you can't is to memorize the chart on page 16 and practice as much as you can. For practice, you should turn in your book to exercise 4, page 15, and also do exercise 10, page 18 and 19. In particular, exercise 10 will be very helpful.